Uh, welcome, guys, to another uh, series here as we're here for the award ceremony. And trying to uh, be presenting the awards here. We're going to work with multiple awards here as we're going to present the awards for the first and second place for today. Uh, before we present the awards, we're going to work with have the award presenter uh, to come up to the stage. We have a PUBG affiliate here uh, to help us present the award. Let's go with the awards now. I'll go with the runner-ups. Of course, the team that we thought would have been the champions of today. We really, I knew that a lot of fans are definitely going to be up to really come up to this, but it's going to be PUBG Warfare Masters. Runner-up is going to be Gen G Gold. And about 24,000 US dollar equivalent uh, for these four players for Genji Gold are picking up second place on the night. And they do still receive the, the unlimited love from the fans and players for Loki, Simpson, and Eska. Of course, the players that we've been recognizing for the entire season, and here they are once again receiving the praise from the fans, still a very deserving second place. They do have disappointing faces on here on the stage and still give you guys a round of applause for the Gen Go picking up runner-ups for PWM Season 1. And we ask that Genji Gold uh, go down and wait uh, for the rest of the award ceremony. And they still do receive all the praise and all the applause from the fans. But now we're going to present the first place, the grand champions with 10 points deciding the difference. And it was the team that deserved it in the end. PUBG Warfare Master Season 1, Grand Champions. It's gonna be Rocket Inv. We're gonna work with 40,000 US dollar equivalent for the champions. And we do have four players feeling so, so proud about what they have done. Didn't think that Rocket Inn would be the champions as with many people did, but here they are one step at a time. And in the final day on day eight, they do get the championship round and they are here as the champions over. Genji Gold and a what an accomplishment for these guys. They have a photo shoot with the players holding up their trophies. And what a moment this is. Give a big round of applause once again to Rocket Inn, the champions of PWM Season 1. And thank you for the PUBG affiliate for helping us present the award. An applause for him as he heads down and can have a short interview with the winners here. You guys are the, the champions, you guys are the main characters. Do you feel the weight of the trophy? It's so heavy right now. We were so surprised as we uh, were putting on the lifting up the trophy here. And even with, even yesterday, I heard the scrims didn't go so well, and the practice weren't the, the best for you guys uh, heading into today's finals. And how was for today's games? Uh, talking about the scrims, uh, I just really uh, had to switch around between multiple uh, cities to decide our uh, starting location, but we were trying to make sure we were focused uh, for the games, and we were really allowed us to play really well today. This is going to be Vino, uh, you know, talking about a lot of jokes about 
you know, what this finals meant. Because you literally no pressure because no one put a lot of attention for you guys. But as you guys were coming up, uh, what was the, the 10 point difference in the end? Did you feel like you got the champions? I knew the advantage points was towards uh, Genji Gold in that case. We knew the, the win uh, would have been a lot harder for us, but we thought se second runner up would have been the best of results where we would have been completely satisfied with that. But really a surprise getting a first place. We, for allowing us to uh, to make sure we come up, uh, we thank you Rocket for sponsoring us and uh, all these sponsors we have and we thank you guys for helping us to become a better team. Yeah. And congratulations to Vino. We're going to talk with Proud for a bit as well. We did have one interview during the matches. Yeah. And did you feel like you were going to actually get uh, the champion at first place? How do you feel? You know, before we came in, uh, we didn't even think about getting the championship, to be honest, and we didn't think that we got first place, and we got first place, and it feels great to get that done. And of course, you guys had a difficulty in the practice, and with the matches being a lot difficult for you guys as well, but with a lot of fans and all the people, anything like to say to them? And from season one, uh, the games didn't come forward with the other tournaments as well. And, and we tried to make sure we practice even without uh, resting in, uh, try to go with. And thank you to the president and also the coach uh, for always helping us so well. Well, it's done so well for us. We're going to move on to Hexa for the next phase of the interview. And Hexa received a lot of praise, and you are really on the winning end today and doing so, so well. Of course, a lot of scenes that allowed you to really did so well. What's the difference for you today, especially? Just feel like all the shots were coming through, and before, before I got knocked away, uh, the guns were feeling good, the ammos were feeling like it was feeling today. Yeah. It feels like every, everything works out. This is the one that really works out. And there were obstacles along the way. What were some of the obstacles? The most worrying phase was in that last round. And we had to rely upon the, uh, the circle luck to uh, try to get the best of what we get. But you know, MVP was right there in the mix. and. Uh, trying to not die out. That was the most important thing for us to make sure we collect the points we needed for that one. Yeah. We had all these uh, teams that are really just calling out and trying to gain their position. Of course, you do. Sure, you do have a lot of people uh, in face of the parents and family. I'm sure they're watching out as well. Anything you'd like to say to them? I want to uh, take my mom and dad who's been probably watching out and before for all our moms and dads that are allowing us to have this career as pro gamers and feel like today is a meaningful day that we really paid back and showed that we can be successful. And we always talk about the coaches and the head coach uh, doing so, so well. All these coaching and the coaching staff doing so, so well. And our teammates did so, so well here once again. We're going to work with Crank for the last part of the interview. We talked about when we received a profile photo from you, that you were just a manly guy. And how do you feel winning out the championship today? I worked with uh, different titles before, and but I've never really won a championship before. So uh, in today's game, but in PUBG, it's, it's a game that I finally win some type of championship, so it's so meaningful. It's, I can't really express it in words. And you told me that you had a hard time during practice, that really conflicts inner, uh, that really had a hard time. A lot of supporters and fans out there, anything like to say, but you talked about the teammates as well. Anything like to say to the teammates in specifically? Uh, I'm the oldest in the team, and uh, and they are the younger brothers of mine. And whenever you know scrims don't go well, or the practice don't go well, and even in competitions, I feel like I don't do my part as the eldest and try to 
do things to help better uh, for my oh, younger brother. So I always feel sorry and apologetic for that. And we always thank the, the players for doing so, so well. And my younger brothers, I'm just so thankful for these guys because they are the true blessings in my life as well. I love you guys as well. And that was the short interviews with the four players for Rocket M. Thank you guys for watching until the very, very end. And now we're going to conclude PUBG Warfare Masters with Rocket M winning at the championships. Thank you guys for joining us once again for the entire season. My name is Joseph Ian with Van Brendan Valdez. We're going to see you for the next time. I hope to see you then. Just looking for something